Hello everyone, today I'm going to cook a Hungarian dish called lecho. In this version, this is a perfect keto meal because it's got a lot of fat and protein, but it doesn't have a lot of carbs. Now, if you don't want it to be keto, you can serve it with sourdough bread or you can serve it with rice. So let's start cooking. So let me walk you through the ingredients that we need to make uh, lecho. Most importantly, we need peppers. And the, because it's a Hungarian dish, we will also need the smoked paprika and the traditional paprika. I also added some chipotle to the mix because I actually do like this more Mexican spicy flavor. In the original recipe, Hungarians probably wouldn't use it, but I like the mixture of different peppers. We also have Himalayan salt with freshly ground pepper, garlic, onions, tomatoes. We have courgettes here. This is tomato puree, just to Add it at the end to add a little bit more color. We also will add uh, sausage. This is a traditional Polish sausage. You can also use Hungarian sausage or you can make this dish without any meat. This is an originally vegetarian dish but you can also make it into a more filling meal by adding the sausage. We're also going to use goose fat to cook on. We will also add a little bit of bacon to the mix. So now it's time to chop and prepare all that. So now when I have the chopped ingredients, there's two points to mention. A uh, little cooking tip. I put uh, boiling water over the tomatoes just so I can peel off the skin. Because if you don't do that, then you have tiny small pieces of uh, hard skin in your lecho and it's just going to not be very nice to eat. Now the tomatoes are peeled and chopped. They don't have to be chopped finely because they will disintegrate in the mix anyway. And the next step will be to start frying the pepper first and then the onion. So we start by warming up the goose fat and then melting a mixture of different peppers in it. And the next step is to add the bacon. The bacon will of course add a little bit more fat into the mixture, but this is a fairly lean a piece of bacon, it's an unsmoked raw bacon. Once the bacon is fried a little bit, we can add the onion. And I will grate the garlic into the mix. Next, you can add the sausage, mix it all together. Next, the courgette, peppers, and the tomatoes. Finally, the salt and pepper. At this point, I'll close the pressure cooker. Next step will be to add some of the tomato puree into the mix. And I'm going to reduce the water content slightly. So I'm going to set the machine on reduce and cook it for another 10-15 minutes. And then the meal will be ready. This is the final result. 